Hello everyone, welcome back. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about one of the basic concepts in statistics, okay, which is confidence interval. So I'm sure that you would have come across this term many times, right? But let's say if you're not still clear with this concept, so here I'm going to explain you in a simple way. Okay, so let's go into the video. So what is confidence interval in terms of statistics? So let's say we have population data. Okay. So if I wanted to estimate a value for any parameter of population data. Okay, if I wanted to estimate a value of any parameter. Okay, it can be mean or uh, standard deviation, whatever parameter it is. Okay, so if I wanted to calculate or estimate the value for the parameter of population data, then it's difficult for me, right? So in that case, I'll take sample data, right? So here I will calculate the value of the parameters for sample data, okay? So let's say here, I have collected data and based on this, I just wanted to calculate what is the average age of sample data. Okay, so here I'm going to give a sample mean. Okay, the average age I'm going to calculate for the sample data. Let's assume that the average age of sample data seems to be 30. Okay, I have calculated that and I have found that the average age is 30. Now, if I take this value to represent the population, right? So this is a single value, right? I have given for the parameter. So this is the average age for sample data. And now, if I tell that the average age of population data is also 30, then I'm having a single value to represent or the exact value to represent the population data, right? So when I have or when I give an estimate of single value, then this is called as point estimate. I'm telling that or I'm going to represent the population data with a single value. Right, the exact value I'm telling here. So this is called as point estimate. Okay. But let's say, instead of giving a single value to represent the population, okay, let me give a range of values. Because if I give an exact value, there are you know, two possibilities. Either it could be correct or it could be wrong. Right? So in this case, I'll not go with a point estimate. Okay, I will not represent the population with a single value. So what I will do, I'll take the interval estimate. Okay, in this case, I'm going to have range of values instead of having a single value for the parameter. Now, let's say the interval estimate that I have got is, let's say the average age could fall anywhere between 25 to 35. So instead of telling that the exact average age is 30, I'm just going to give a range of values here saying that the value of 
or the average age of population is going to be somewhere between 25 to 35. Okay. So sample for sample data, I have calculated the average age, 30. But I'm not confident enough to represent this exact value for the population. So what I'm telling, I'm going to set an interval here saying that the average age of population could be somewhere between 25 to 35. Right. So instead of giving the exact value where when I give exact value, it can be correct or it can be wrong. Right. But when I give a range of values, so it will fall somewhere here. So when the average age is 30, okay, there could be some errors in it. Margin of errors we, we, we can have with a population. So when I wanted to represent the population, right, I'll give a range of values so that it might fall anywhere between this. Okay, if it is, uh, you know, greater or lesser than 30, okay, I, I can give that value with a range of values here, right? So this is called as interval estimate. Okay. So this interval estimate is referred as confidence interval estimate. Okay. So what is confidence interval? So it is an estimate of the amount of uncertainty associated with the sample. Okay. So let's say it is an estimate of the amount of uncertainty associated with a sample computed from the statistics of observed data. Okay. So to represent the population or to estimate a value for the parameter of population data, we will calculate the sample mean and with that we will estimate the population okay so while doing that instead of giving an exact value for the parameter i'll give a range of values okay so this i will tell with some confidence level okay let's say if i'm confident that so let's say if the confidence interval sorry confidence level is 95 percentage okay now what does this say so if i say the confidence level is 95 percentage i'm 95 percent sure that the average age of population will fall between this range of values only okay so if i say 99 percentage as confidence level then i'm 99 percent sure that the average age of population will be between 25 to 35, okay, right? So when I have confidence limits, so you, you will be having uh, upper limit and the lower limit, okay, lower confidence limit, okay, within this interval, anywhere your age of the average age will fall. Okay. So I hope you are clear with this concept now. Thank you.